This is the SSPH Primus 1, a locally designed and built 155mm 39 caliber track-based self-propelled howitzer. It has the range and firepower of the artillery. Combined with the added protection, speed and maneuverability of armored vehicles, the Primus is a highly accurate mobile artillery platform. The SPH Primus it is highly responsive and it's highly survivable. In terms of responsiveness, the way it achieves that is because it is on an armoured platform and it's able to remain uh, close to the armoured forces uh, and not be separated by distance. As for survivability, it's able to veer off from the route of advance, come into a deployment ground, be ready within a minute, fire off and then disappear within another minute. With such short timeline and exposure window, it is not possible for the enemy to achieve an effective counterfire against it. The Singapore artillery started off operating mortars. This was followed by the FH-88 howitzer in the 80s. In the 90s, it acquired the FH-2000 field howitzer for its operations. The towed guns, however, are not as mobile as the SPH. They require a longer time to deploy and a longer time to cease fire. The genesis of a self-propelled howitzer was then conceived in the early 90s to provide good fire support to the armor brigades in the combined arms divisions. The Primus, equipped with sophisticated onboard computers, innovative automation, speed and firepower, meets the operational requirements of the SAF. It's capable of firing burst rate, uh, which is uh, three rounds in 20 seconds. Uh, it is capable of delivering a variety of uh, munitions. Uh, from high explosive, smoke projectile and uh, improved conventional munition or what we commonly know as uh, ICM rounds. The crew is well protected from small arms fire and indirect hits from anti-tank ballistics by the Primus's anti-armor piercing body plate. Its relatively lightweight platform also allows a quick getaway after engaging its target. In terms of mobility, the Primus is uh, far supreme. It, is, has, it has a mobility speed of up to 50 km per hour, comparable to 16 km of the FH-2000. With its technology, it has also reduced greatly an eight-man crew that was required to operate the FH howitzer to now a four-man crew, which is required to operate the SPH. In an operational setting, the forward observation post first feeds the command post with enemy coordinates. These grid sectors are then relayed to the Primus which, aided by its onboard satellite global positioning system, computes the coordinates and aligns its guns exactly. From that point, it's lock on and fire. The Primus can strike any target within 30 kilometers with deadly accuracy. Essentially, the gun is an intelligence system whereby it has this onboard navigational function. Uh, it knows its position wherever it uh, maneuvers and uh, whenever we key in the uh, target information into the guns, it's able to compute the firing solution to deliver accurate fires onto the target. All Primus crew undergo an in-house artillery training course before they are allowed to handle the Primus. The training equips the crew with an operational knowledge of the entire system. To be an SPH crew, you have to go through a four months training, two months on the chassis, which is the lower part of the Primus, and another two months on uh, the turret. The two months uh, chassis will include driving, and every crew has to go through a similar package. We were never able to detect crews' uh, damage or injuries uh, they may obtain during combat. Thus, uh, we have consciously inquired or improvised in their training that every crew be versatile with uh, all the others' appointments. They learn the full functionalities uh, required uh, to operate the Prima C2, which covers things like uh, pre-operation system initialization, how to perform things like uh, inventory uh, synchronization with the Prima's ammunition handling system, and also things like, of course, uh, how to physically conduct various types of fire operations within the Prima's. All this critical knowledge they will learn and they will bring back with them to their unit and these people actually will form the core group of trainers who will in turn train future generations of trainees. Initially it was quite tough as the commander has to perform a lot of roles but with uh, proper training and experience gained from exercises I can say that I'm comfortable in working the system and making sure that everything is safe 
for my crew member and myself. Since its inception in 2000, the premise has undergone several rigorous tests to determine its operational capabilities and readiness. Earlier this year, both men and machines showed their mettle in an exercise held in New Zealand. With all new equipment, there are a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainties. Of course, by now, we have uh, sorted all that out. We've got our doctrine in place. We even went for a live fire recently in New Zealand in Exercise Thunder Warrior, which a battery of six guns went up and successfully completed the live firing. Uh, we have verified both the accuracy and consistency of the rounds. We have verified the ability of the SSPH-1 Primus to traverse the terrain that we need to traverse and its reliability. Over the years, the SAF has collaborated closely with the Defence Science and Technology Agency and Singapore Technologies to design and develop weapon systems to meet the operational requirements of the SAF. The premise is the latest product of this collaboration. Uh, I see the SAF moving towards uh, building more and more of its own uh, weaponry. Uh, firstly, so as to be able to satisfy all our operation requirements. Uh, and secondly, to attain some sense of uh, self-sufficiency in our production. And of course, lastly, uh, having it built in Singapore will allow us better support in the true life cycle of the weapon itself.